This just in, new report on the Owens River and Hot Creek. This is from Fred Rowe at Sierra Bright Dot. Hello, I'm Fred Rowe from Sierra Bright Dot Fly Fishing Guide Service. I've been teaching, guiding, writing, and lecturing on fly fishing in the Eastern Sierras since 1982. Well, let's get to this week's fly fishing report. Well, weather in the spring, it means when and we've had lots of wind this week. Sampling some of the fishing and some of the fishing, it's helping. I spent opening weekend out at Bishop Park Pond teaching 6 to 12 year olds how to fly fish. And on Sunday, the wind really helped the kids catch a lot of fish. Well, let's get up to the Upper Owens River. We're in the in-between time. The cutthroats still aren't in. That's what everybody's looking for in the springtime. It's big trophy cutthroats and the rainbows have gone out. So what we're catching, what we call kind of the resident juvenile fish. And we're getting fish up there on stonefly imitations, like the stoner nymph, on pheasant tails, and on gold rip, hare's ear, nymphing. With the wind and the weather, we're not seeing much dry fly activity. Well, let's go over to Hot Creek. It's known, particularly in the interpretive site, for its dry fly fishing. So when the wind's not blowing, the blueing olive hatch, between 10 and 2 has been good on a size 20, olive sparkle duck, or on a size 20, blue wing olive parachute. Down in the canyon, it's more conducive to nymph fishing. So that's what I've been doing is nymph fishing. And with the lower water, I've been doing a dry and a dropper. So I'm using a size 16 Adams parachute, and then I'm using midge patterns, both the nymph and the pupa in tiger and zebra midge coloration. And then for the blue wing olive nymph, we're using the beadhead flashback pheasant tail in a size 20. If the hatch is good, we'll switch dry flies down there, but most days hatch hasn't been coming off that good down in the can. Well, let's head down the hill into the Owens Valley. Well, wind has definitely been the problem here. Certain days have been sunny and warm and great. Other days have been really windy. If you pick the right days and you're on the water, fishing on the lower Owen has been great, particularly in the mornings, nymphing. The blue wing olives and the midges are kind of what we're using. Midges are kind of on the out. Um, the PMD mayflies, which is the pale morning dun mayfly in uh, size 14 or 16, gold ripped hairs there, nymphing, and then also in the size 18 and 20, Bead had flashback, pheasant tail. But all day, there's a hatch going on. We can go to the surface and use either a PMD parachute or a blue wing olive parachute. But most days, that hatch isn't there. Bishop Creek Canal, it continues to produce well and is one of my favorite water. Right before opener, we had great fishing for hatchery fish in there. Put a bunch of hatchery rainbows in there. Well, opening weekend, everybody knew the fish were in there. Most of those fish have been caught, and we're back to catching the wild brown trout. And again, we're primarily nymphing in there with gold rope tears ears in 14s and 16s, and beadhead flashback pheasant tails in a 14. And that's been this week's fly fishing report brought to you by Sierra Bright Dot. I can be found on Instagram and Facebook and on my webpage at sierrabrightdot.com. And that was Fred Rowe. He's the owner of Sierra Bright Dot. We appreciate the information on the Owens and Hot Creek. He is a fantastic resource and a great guide up in the Eastern Sierra. So let us know and we'll put you in touch with Fred. And we'll see you right here next time on The Batcave.